Hi, Super Spruce here, back with our Interrunner Mentions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 6. And it's been a little bit since last episode. I've done some off camera progression, but here I'm going to get the fifth time dimension shift. I think at this point I start going for regular dimension shifts instead of time dimension shifts. So you can see the ant matter is actually increasing at a relatively decent amount. I think the strategy is to go for 40 antimatter so I can get the third time dimension. I feel like that's the most crucial thing I should get. And then I should start getting the dimensions because the dimensions can prove to be extremely powerful. Like just getting the 10 first dimensions gives me like a 20 times multiplier from just one first dimension. So I mean, not 20 times, but like a 16 times multiplier. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of a wait to get 178 antimatter, but once I do get 178 antimatter, it actually really does help, like, increase the production of antimatter. It shouldn't even take much more than a minute, though. Okay, I have 170 antimatter, which means I can double my antimatter production. So getting the next 178 antimatter should only... Take I'm I'm not sure probably something like um, let me try to calculate this maybe a little over 20 seconds so I'm, I'm actually I'm almost there at this point and then it's gonna keep getting it's gonna keep getting shorter and shorter and the thing is that the second dimension actually isn't much more expensive than the first dimension so that actually does really help things I have 160 tick speed upgrades I could try to go grab the next time dimension I, I yeah I'll just do that. To try to help give me some more um, tick upgrades. It may not be the best decision, but whatever. Um, the tick speed upgrades do really help everything. Now I'm getting... Yeah, now it's just going to take 10 seconds for me to get one of these. And it should be pretty good. So actually what, what I'm thinking of doing is that... Like, what I'm, what I'm trying to do... I'm trying to push all the way to an Antimatter Galaxy. The thing is that after the Antimatter Galaxy, it's going to be essentially the same speed as before so i'm probably going to do all of that off camera because there's nothing really interesting there so yeah i just wanted to tell you that so now finally 10 first dimensions and i guess i can buy more um another time dimension here while i wait for enough antimatter i'm not even sure exactly how much this is uh yeah i'll get there eventually it's uh, it's probably a thousand antimatter and uh, maybe it's not a thousand, I have no idea, but I'm getting 110 antimatter per second, so it should happen pretty soon. And the second dimension is extremely powerful. It's like where the game be um, turns from slow to fast, just because I'm, I'm generating first dimensions pretty quickly. And then uh, I can also get a tick upgrade here. I'm not even sure if I want this tick upgrade. I, I may rather just get more second dimensions. Maybe I'll we'll just get this tick upgrade. It does something. It, I think that the time dimensions are being buffed by the tick upgrades, which is helping me get more tick speed upgrades. So, yeah. And now once I start getting these, this, this multiplier up here will increase, which will make this even faster. And all of a sudden, I can get this tick speed upgrade. Um, I'm not really close to fourth dimensions yet, but I'll eventually get there. I can grab another fifth time dimension, so that, that's pretty nice. I can get another tick speed upgrade, and then I need about I need about like five times more antimatter as I have now to get the third dimension. So it's definitely more manageable, but it's still pretty slow. It's probably about as fast as the vanilla game. So I, yeah, that's still slow, but. In New Game Minus, 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 Minus standards, that actually isn't that bad. So, yeah, now I have to get all of these dimensions, and then I can get the, the first dimension. That definitely does speed things up. And all I need is 10 fourth dimensions to get the first dimension shift. And I, I sort of wonder how fast it's going to be after the first dimension shift. It's probably, since it does reset all my time dimensions and antimatter, it's still probably going to be very slow, but... It'll be at least a little bit better. So yeah, now I have 10 fourth dimensions, which means this, this multiplier is higher. Um, this will be a 16 times multiplier, which definitely does help, even though it's affected by 
the dilation, it still just helps so much. So now I'm actually, all of a sudden, I'm not very far from getting a fourth dimension. I, I think I, yeah, I should get the fourth dimension instead of the tick speed upgrade, or at least, at least the first fourth dimension. So here it is. I'm, yeah, actually, it, I get about 10 third dimensions every second, which is really good. Like, especially, you know, New Game Minus 4. I can also get this time dimension here, but I don't even think that matters as much. So, look at this. I'm going to get an entire dimension shift in, I don't know, five minutes? That's what I feel like it was. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's still slow. I would say the speed of all the dimensions is, I, I would say, it's a, I, I looked at the multiplier, it's, multiplied by a little under one and a half so maybe 1.4 i'm guessing this is like a multiplier to actually this only multiplies the first dimension so it's actually not a very good multiplier maybe i think it does multiply the time dimension so i'm not really sure how that works but it's definitely faster so i'll take any speed i can get in new game minus 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 and now I'm getting the second first dimension, and I'm getting not like seven antimatter per second, but I'm getting about nine antimatter per second. So even though that speed difference is minor, it still makes a difference. I guess I'll just keep getting these first dimensions. It's still not all that exciting. Like it's like there's not really all that much to go for. The next thing I'm definitely going for is this game changer of an upgrade. Normal and time dimensions are 99% cheaper. That is a total game changer. Because once I get that, this, like, think about it. Like, just imagine if I was getting 100 times as much antimatter. That's essentially what it is. And, like, it's essentially the, it's the same amount of game changer -ness as this upgrade here. But it's... Um, it, so like that when it from that got the game from like just extremely pointlessly slow to I would say about the speed of the vanilla game while this while, while this upgrade is gonna make it from like the speed of the vanilla game to a lot faster so yeah that, that's it's it's definitely really exciting however before I get this upgrade I need to get all the way to an antimatter galaxy, which is 10 eighth dimensions, and then I need to um, get 10 eighth dimensions again to be able to get a tick speed boost. So it's still just very slow. And the antimatter galaxies do almost nothing. They increase, they increase this multiplier from 1.05 to 1.052, which, I mean, I guess if I'm getting like 220 tick speed upgrades that could make a difference, but not really. I, I I use this in like a calculator, and with 230 tick speed upgrades, which is like sort of like a moderate amount, it gives about a 1.55 times boost to this multiplier. That's not a lot. And especially so considering this multiplier is affected by dilation, which means the exponent is like, is raised to the 0 0.75 power. So that means the 1.55 times multiplier is more like a 1.3 times multiplier. So you can see how the galaxies are almost useless. I, I guess it is a multiplier to all dimensions, but it's like the thing is so much of the time is just spent having only first dimensions that it's effectively a 1.3 times multiplier. That, that's what I'm gonna say. It's, the galaxies are just so weak in this game, and it's it's honestly really annoying how how weak the galaxies are. Like, the galaxies need a, a, a buff. And actually, there is an upgrade eventually, but it costs five galaxy points. It's Also, galaxies are two times stronger. In New Game Minus, 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 and Minus, Minus, that made it five times stronger. So, yeah, that, that's, that, that tells you a little something. Like, maybe the galaxies will be better, like, like you know, maybe once I start getting, like, I have gotten, like, 500 tick speed upgrades once, and with 500 tick speed upgrades, the multiplier could be maybe, like, the boost from a galaxy would be maybe two times to all dimensions. So may maybe that'll do something. 
And also, by the way, the, it's now quite a bit faster. Like, once I start getting the dimensions going, the game definitely does speed up. All I need to do now is just get 10 fifth dimensions, which should not take too long. You can see these percentages are at 20%, which is actually really good. And here is the dimension shift. And it looks like this is now about double what it was pre-dimension shift. So that that's actually really good. Double the speed is like we'll, we'll cut a five minute time or we'll cut a five minute grind to a two and a half minute grind. That cuts off 150 seconds. So uh, that yeah, that's really good. And I'm just gonna get this, which will help me get more tick speed upgrades. And all of a sudden, I am getting. I'm, I'm going to get close to three antimatter per second before I get this upgrade, which means it'll take like well under a minute to get this up. Or I I, I call it an upgrade, but you you know what it is. It's just the first dimensions. But the, yeah, there's there's so many things that are affected. Like there's the dimensions, and then there's the multiplier up here. While I'm getting this upgrade, I'm already up to over 10 antimatter per second for just one first, for at just two first dimensions, which is really good. Like, remember, in, in the vanilla game, I would be getting two antimatter per second, except, you know, this would be a lot cheaper. So, I guess for it to be matched, I would need to be getting, like, for one first dimension, for the, for the speed to match the vanilla game with no dimension boosts and just no buffs at all, I would need to be getting 17 antimatter per, per second. I'm not quite there yet, but one day I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Also, you might notice that there is this thing called tick speed boost, and it costs 38th dimensions. Um, if you've watched my new game minus 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 series, that's where the tick speed boost is introduced. Um, that It's essentially another prestige layer, but it's irrelevant for this time. Like I... Okay, I'm probably going to do multiple galactic sacrifices before I actually use the tick speed boost. And now I'm getting the second dimensions, so that's definitely going to help things. I keep debating over wh whether I should get this tick speed upgrade. I don't think it's worth it to get the tick speed upgrade. And yeah, na now you can see it's the game is starting to speed up. I'm now getting... A thousand antimatter per second, or it's just it's in this hexadecimal notation. Maybe if you don't really want the hexadecimal notation, um, you can request it to me. But I, I sort of like it. It's, it sort of makes it a little more entertaining because the mod is so slow. So let's see. I, I'm okay. I just I should probably get these upgrades. I should probably get maybe another fifth time dimension as well. And it should not take that long to reach Fe four for the third dimension. I should probably get this tick speed upgraded. It, it will help things. And yeah, it should only take maybe 15 more seconds to get this upgrade. Any, anything measured in seconds in New Game Minus 4 is just, it means it's fast. So now with 10 third dimensions, this is where the, the speed picks up because getting these gives me, like it's, it says two times multiplier in all dimensions, but because of dilation nerfs, it's actually about a 1.6 times multiplier to all dimensions, but still, 1.6 times multiplier to all dimensions is a four times um, multiplier to antimatter. So, yeah, that that's why that is so useful. So now I can get the fourth dimensions, and now I have all the fourth dimensions. And since there's something else here, I can again get. Now it's more like a six and a half times multiplier to all dimensions. With this, I can get another. Like, and, and get another thing. It's not quite like a six and a half times multiplier. Not to all dimensions, but like to antimatter. It's it's not even that. It's like, it's probably more like a three times bonus to antimatter, but that's still really good. And all of a sudden, I'm getting pretty close to fifth dimensions. So now, definitely, this game has, has at least temporarily, for now, it's, it's a lot faster. I can actually get this... And this, that's that's gonna double that multiplier, giving me now probably more like a 10 times multiplier to antimatter production. And yeah, all I need is 2ee e to get the um, to get start getting sixth dimensions. All I need is 1.8 ef to be able to get the next dimension shift. 
But even as I'm buying the six dimensions, the percentages are still lower. They're only about 10%. So maybe there is, the game does slow down a little bit at this point. But look at this, another dimension shift giving another modest multiplier to antimatter production. Okay, I, I got the fourth dimension boost here. And I, I, I decided to skip this from the recording just because this is just going to be a factor, faster version of last dimension boost or, or dimension shift. I keep saying dimension boost because, um, spoiler, there's no ninth dimensions. So, yeah, I can see how it is definitely a lot faster. It's now over three and a half times as fast as it was with no dimension shifts. So that that's definitely going to help things. And also the dimension shifts, the, the first dimension shift only buffs the first dimension. The second dimension shift buffs the first and second dimension. The third dimension shift buffs the first, second, and third dimension. And the fourth dimension shift is going to buff the first through fourth dimensions. And it does that until it affects dimensions one through eight. So yeah, like the next, like if I got a dimension boost instead of a galaxy, it would um, affect the first through fifth dimensions. So yeah, that definitely does um, speed up the game even more. Even like I, I definitely need every speed up I can in a game like this. So now I have five first dimensions, and this is where the, this multiplier starts to kick in. So that, that's where I start getting a lot more antimatter per second. Eight, nine, and. 10. And then I, I should get all these time dimensions. It's also interesting how like consist consistently I have way more time shards than antimatter. Like it like it's it's just it's just interesting. I might have already mentioned that in a previous episode, but whatever. I'll just mention that again. So here is are the second dimensions, which I definitely need if I want this game to be a reason we'll see. I I feel like I'm just I feel like a broken record right here. Just, I maybe I don't even need to say anything. I I have no idea. But a anyway, it's actually interesting. I can get like one of these every second, and even a little faster than that. So that means there is signs of actual speed in new game minus 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 minus. I, I really feel I really sound like a broken record thing is there really isn't all that much to say like i'm getting i'm getting these third dimensions but it's just the same thing over and over again just a little bit faster only marginally faster maybe this is why i'm so excited for this game changer upgrade that is going to give a big boost to production speed like these little dimension shifts are going to do are like going to be nothing compared to like these full like a full fledged like like a full-fledged galactic sacrifice upgrade like this one. So, yeah, I can get more of these tick speed upgrades. I can I can get the sixth time dimension, except I, I remember I don't do that because I prioritize fourth dimensions over that. So now I can start getting, like, the sixth time dimension, which gives me more time shards. Also, I try to get, like, cheaper iterations of this just so I can help speed up the time dimensions just a little bit so I can get more take speed upgrades some like doing this just does nothing like like it doesn't really spend much but it just does nothing but this part's definitely fast i'm i'm getting about like 30 percent like antimatter second over second which is really good like like i remember i was tracking this in new game minus 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 and like eventually like in, in minus 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 like i could like get it to like 100 or 200 percent so i'm I'm just waiting for the time I can do that with new game minus four. I mean, there is, I, I guess you can see like 100% here, but that's just because like I just have one, just, just because like the initial burst is not like, like I, I'm more thinking about like, like, you know, of the first dimension once I have at least four dimensions. Like that's sort of what I think it of as. So here I can get several of these, which definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm now at, that's, that was 35% second over second, which is really good. And I have three, uh, 308 tick speed upgrades. I can get these, which doesn't really help all that much. It only 
it's gonna buff this multiplier by like 1.2 times so yeah that's pretty unfortunate i'm pretty close to the seventh dimensions now all i need is 4e13 i probably should get this tick speed upgrade and actually all these that, that doubles that multiplier up there so that yeah that's definitely going to help now i can get this which gives me quite a lot of sixth dimensions and now i need e19 actually e1a antimatter for a galaxy so yeah that, that's quite a bit of antimatter like even with all all of these it just takes a while like i guess i can get more of these time dimensions here i'm probably gonna get anything here under like e14 so yeah just just to help marginally give me more tick speed upgrades and every tick speed upgrade counts I'm actually, all of a sudden, I'm at E18 Antimatter. I'm actually not very far off from E1A Antimatter. This is going to, again, double the, the multiplier up there, which means I'm going to soon have enough antimatter to get an antimatter galaxy. The, the post-galaxy um, production, it's going to do, it's going to be just essentially the, the same as last time. So I'm just going to do all of that off camera. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.